everybody, welcome to Engineering at Home. This video is brought to you in partnership with Leonardo. Leonardo is one of the UK's leading aerospace companies providing innovative technological and sports solutions to a range of customers across the world. As well as being a part of Team Tempest, creating the next generation combat air system, Leonardo's helicopters and radars provide vital search and rescue capability and their communications and intelligence systems have been used to secure such major events as the Commonwealth Games and the Winter Olympics. Today in this video we're going to be exploring electricity and we're going to build a simple circuit using Play-Doh. This is part one so make sure to come back tomorrow to see how to use the same materials to make sensors. As we're learning about electricity it's really important to have a responsible adult with you supervising to make sure that you are safe. So let's get into it. What you're going to need for this project is a 9 volt battery, an LED, you can usually get one of these out of some fairy lights or a keyring torch and some play-doh. If you have play-doh, great, skip to the time code on the screen, but if you don't, I can show you how to make some next. Make sure you have a responsible adult helping you as we're going to need to use the stove for this one. First thing you need is 155 grams of flour, 240 millilitres of water, 70 grams of salt, 9 tablespoons of lemon juice which is about 130 millilitres and 1 tablespoon of oil. If you want to make it colourful then feel free to add some food colouring, I went for red. Mix all of your ingredients in a saucepan and put it over a medium heat. Don't forget you should have an adult helping you here as well. Stir continuously and the mixture should begin to thicken. This takes around 10 minutes. After some time you should begin to see lumps form as you can see in mine now. Make sure you keep stirring, you should notice it getting thicker and grouping together a bit more. It should start to form a ball in the pan and once it's got to a similar consistency as mine, you should move on to the next step. I've cut clips out so don't forget this will take around 10 minutes to get to this stage. Put 80 grams of flour down onto a surface and then tip the play-doh out onto it. Make sure you leave it a few minutes as it's going to need time to cool, it's going to be really hot straight out of the pan and we don't want to hurt ourselves. Once the play-doh is cooled down, then you can go ahead and start kneading the flour into it. What that means is, as you can see here, pushing the flour into it, folding it over like you do to bread to incorporate all the flour into the mixture. You want to incorporate all the flour you put down into the play-doh. Keep going until it doesn't feel sticky anymore and it feels like the right consistency. Once that's all done, then we're ready to move on and start making some circuits. The important thing about electricity is that there's always a positive and a negative side. On a 9 volt battery, the positive port is the circular, smaller one. On an LED, you should notice that one of the legs is longer than the other. This is the positive side. To keep it straight, we'll be using red Play-Doh as the positive wire and white as the negative. First, what we're going to do is roll your Play-Doh out into wires. So if you've got them in balls, roll them out into cylinders. Attach the red one to the small circular terminal and the white one to the larger hexagonal terminal. Then you want to grab your LED. Like I said earlier, don't forget the longer leg is positive, so you want that to go into the red Play-Doh. And you should see it light up. If yours isn't, it might be because your Play-Doh is touching. As you can see here, when they touch each other, it shorts the whole circuit, and it means your LED won't light up. So today we've covered just a basic circuit. Jessica's going to be back tomorrow showing you how to build sensors using a lot of the same materials. So make sure you come back tomorrow and check that out. 
Don't forget to send us your creations, use the hashtag engineering at home on the screen so we can see all your hard work. Also, don't forget to check out Leonardo's, their Instagram and social medias should be on the screen now. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you had a great time and we'll see you soon.